Good evening, class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Good. And you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How was your day today? How was your day? Good, good teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm glad to hear yeah. that. Very good. Okay, good. Not not yes. too stressful? Sorry? It was not a stressful day? No. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, and uh, what, a, so I have some people here. Uh, I see that they're connected, but um, I don't see their faces. I have Iliana, hello, welcome, and Guadalupe. Hello, everybody. Están ustedes? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 Welcome, Karina. Give me a moment, I'm going to adjust my camera. Trying to adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, I think. All right, I think it's better now. Okay, welcome guys. Welcome, how are you? Veo algunas caritas, pero no todas. ¿Están allí? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, good, good. Welcome. Eh, Tal vez pueden prender sí. sus, sus camaritas para que las puedo ver. Ok. Thank you. All right. Uh, welcome for those people that are just joining us. Okay. Um, all right. Well, welcome everybody. Let me start with the attendance. Um, Ana Delmi, is Ana Delmi here? Ana Delmi? Not here, Ana Delmi? No? Okay. All right. Uh, what about uh, Brian, is Brian here? Yes, I'm here, present. All right, excellent. Um, okay, very good. Uh, what about Carlos? Is Carlos here? Hello, good evening, present. All right, welcome, Carlos. Okay. Um, and um, is Danny here? Danny? Danny? Not here? Okay. Um, Danis, is Danis here? Danis? No? Okay. Present teacher. Oh, present. Welcome, Sarai. Thank you, teacher. Okay. All right. Um, Eduardo? Eduardo here? Eduardo? Eduardo is not here? 
Luke? Eunice? Present teacher. Ok. Ya voy a encender la cámara, estoy teniendo dificultades. Ok, ah, pues entonces voy a regresar a... a, a ok, ok. Para que, para, que, para que puedan ver, ¿verdad? Que usted fue la que contestó. A uh, Guadalupe. Present Miss. Ok, very good. Welcome, Guadalupe. Eh, Melissa. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Welcome. José Ignacio. José Ignacio. ¿Dónde está? Ok. Norberto. Present teacher. Ok, welcome Norberto. Thank you. Karina. Ok, welcome Karina. Marvin. Marvin. No. Ok. Uh, what about uh, Garibel? 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 No. Ok. Uh, what about Moses? Welcome, Moses. Thank you. Um, and Nelson? Nelson? No, Nelson. Um, eh, Iliana? Teacher, present. Thank you, Liana. Welcome. Rene. Present, present. Okay, welcome, Rene. Alexis. Hello, presente, present. <laughs> okay, welcome. Thank you. Okay, and Claudia. Claudia. Okay, uh, Marvin. Marvin. I'm here to Marvin Lopez. Present. Marvin Lopez. No, oh, okay. No, um, no, I'm looking for Marvin Lopez. Marvin Lopez, no está? Okay. Rudy. Rudy? Present, present, present. All I'm right, here. Rudy. Bye. Eh, Víctor Hugo. Víctor Hugo. No está. Ok. Vale. Solo voy a, entonces voy a, a repetir aquellos nombres que no escuché. Eh, chicos, por favor, les, les, les recuerdo que la cámara está, debe estar encendida en todo momento. No solamente cuando ustedes van a... a a, a contestar, ¿verdad? Que están presentes, sino que tiene que estar encendido en todo momento porque es un requisito del INSEFOR que ustedes pues ya saben y se, y se comprometieron a ello desde el principio, ¿verdad? Entonces, por favor, cumplan con ese requisito, ¿verdad? Eh, para que no tengamos ningún inconveniente. Ok, uh, Ana Delmi. Present, good evening. Good evening, ok. Uh, Dani, Danis, Danis, okay, eh, Eduardo, Eduardo, Eunice, Eunice, present, okay, very good. Um, I didn't hear Ignacio. Present teacher, I am the number 12 for the uh, attendance list. You know, I know, I know. Not. You're not number 12, you're number 11. 11, <laughs> okay, sir. Yes, okay. Uh, Marvin Bonilla. 
present, I'm, I'm here. All right, very good. Claribel? Claribel? Claribel, no, okay. Uh, what about uh, Nelson? Nelson? Thank you. Uh, Claudia? No? Marvin Lopez. Marvin Lopez. And uh, Victor, Victor Hugo. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, muy bien. Okay, class. Um, well, antes de cualquier cosita, quería preguntarle cómo vamos ahí con eh, la plataforma. How, how are the exercises coming along? Any problems? Anything you want to ask about? Mm -hmm. So todo oídos. Anything you want to uh, you want to ask about? No problem, teacher. I finished the the number a uh, week. The number what number one? Okay, number one. Oh, okay, very good, very good, excellent. Okay, what about the others? Are you finished? Everything? Yes, any problems? No? Okay. Very Teacher, good. I have a question. Yeah. And the and the exercise number number one, the the answer uh, is uh, um which which number one the the first exercise the first exercise. Mm -hmm. it, so you, you're talking about the first homework? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the, and the exercise, eh, no aceptaba en la palabra dan. Que era, eh, por ejemplo, English, había un more to... romantic, more romantic dan. But in the exercise, uh, if I put done, is is wrong. Um, where are you? More romantic. Is that more romantic? Perfect. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Give me a second. No And in the meantime, you guys can tell me if there's anything else that you guys are having problems with. The idea is for, for, for me to help you as much as I can. Okay, so this is your opportunity to ask about anything that you're having problems with. Okay, teacher, in the today, what is the topic? Me? Today, what is the topic? The topic of what? 
That's that class. The topic of the class? Yeah. Oh, the, the topic of today's class is, um, is uh, procedures. We're gonna be talking about procedures. But um, right now I'm asking about the platform. If you have any questions about the platform. Platform, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I understand. Do you have any questions about the platform? No, sorry, I don't have a, a question about. No. no questions about the platform? No. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Teacher. Yes. And the number, uh, homework number one. Mm -hmm. And the second exercise, uh, the uh, say this red flower is beautiful, the yellow one. The answer is more beautiful. For me, uh, at then, but uh, but in the exercise is wrong. Yeah, you're you're right about that. You're you're absolutely right. Um, I'm going to report that um, for number two and number three, right? There, we, we're missing the word that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're absolutely right about that. So, but yes, like technically speaking, it, it, is, it should be then, but for the moment, okay. because it's, it doesn't include it, just eliminate the then, but I will report it so that we can change it. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Guadalupe, for, for pointing that out. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else? Any other questions that you guys have? Something I can help you with? Ahorita es el momento. No? Okay, in that case, guys, we're going to start uh, with our PowerPoint presentation. Tell me if you can see it. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? yes okay. Yes. All right. Okay, so we're going to be talking about procedures. Um, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate one. It's class number eight. So this is something that we saw yesterday, remember, and at the end of the class, and we were not able to um, check the answers. So right now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be checking the answers, okay? All right, um, so the first one is, um, okay, give me a moment. Okay, so the first one says, look at the conversation and complete the sentences. You. Oh, good. You could. You could? You could, you could. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, let's write the answer down, see. Get it right. You could. Okay. You could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Okay, very good. Excellent. Next we have you. Might. Might. Right. Might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. Okay, you might. Um, remember that this is something that we saw before, right? So uh, how do we know if it's could or might? Well, after might, we use the want to or like to. Okay, in this case, it's want to. Okay. All right, and then last one, number three, you... Cool. 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 Okay, very good. You could 
offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Okay. All right. So that's actually what we saw in the answers in bold, right? So we have here, you could discount, you might want to have, you could offer. Okay. Any questions about this? Question you might want to ask. No? no questions you want to ask? No, teacher. I understand. Mm -hmm. I use cool is possibly possibility. I use my is uh, algo que va a pasar, ¿verdad? Uh, might is like a um, it's a polite way of giving it like okay, cool is like a suggestion. Okay. A suggestion and might is like a possibility making it um, like in a polite way, giving a polite suggestion. Okay. Do we understand? Is that pretty clear? Yes, yes. Okay. So might is more polite than could. But we always have to say might want to or might like to. One of the two. Okay. Okay. Questions? No. No questions? Okay. All right. Let's start sharing. Okay. So for this next activity, what I'm going to do is the following we're going to be playing a little game. Okay. But for this game to work, we need to be able to um, have your participation. So I want you to uh, really, really um, listen to the instructions, okay? All right, so first, the first thing is I'm going to ask you, um, um, I'm, I'm going to ask you, to, I would better say, I'm going to send via chat. Um, personally, I'm going to send uh, a, a word to one person in this class. Okay. Um, so you will not know who it is. But if you are the chosen person, I'm going to be sending you a word. And when you find when you see the word in the chat, you will look for that word in the um, you will look for the word in, in the internet, okay? So you will look for the definition of that word. Do you understand? No. No? Yes, miss. Yes? Okay, so I'll repeat. I, I Not everybody, just some chosen people. I will send a word through um, the, the direct chat. So only you will see the word. When you find the word, uh, when you see the word, you're going to find the definition of the word on the internet. But you will not tell us, not yet. Just look for the word. Okay? So um, I'm going to, I'm going to start. Um, and the person who, who received the word has playing the definition. Um, the, not yet, not yet. Ya, ya oh. yo a ahí. Just look for the word. Vamos paso a paso, okay? Porque si no, eh, puede ser que se me confunda. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, find different people, okay? All right. Give me a moment. Okay, eh, y no todos van a ser escogidos, okay? No todos, sino que unos cuantos nomás. Just give me a moment.
Give me one moment. Sorry, uh, la que recibió dos, haga caso omiso, el primero que recibió. La persona que recibió dos palabras, haga caso omiso. Que se me fue. It was my fault, I'm sorry. Ok. Um, Okay, I have sent all of the words. So the people that have have gotten a word, please look for the word in the internet or in a dictionary anywhere you want. Busquen esa palabra. But don't tell don't tell the class yet. Just look for the word. Okay, are you finished? Yes, everybody has a word. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do anybody need more time? Do you need more time? I can give you more time if you need it. No? Okay. But what we're going to do is the following. I need you to pay attention, very, very close attention to what we're going to be doing. Okay. So what's going to happen is the following. I am going to ask you, I'm going to say, okay, Fulanito, tell us your word and the definition. Now, you are going to tell the class the definition, but, but the definition can be true or it can be false. So you can decide if you're going to say the true definition 
or you're going to make a false definition. You have to decide what you want to do, a true definition or a false definition. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so you have to choose like you, you, we, we will not know, only you will know if it's true or not. If you are going to give us a definition and then we are going to decide if the definition you told us is true or it's false. Yeah. Okay. Is that clear? Do we understand what to do? Yes. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions at all? Can we, me, can we, men, can, okay, we can, <laughs> uh, first we say the words and the definition, but if I want, I say a false definition or true definition. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So you say the word, you know, the, any, any, any word, for example, I don't know, um, pen, okay, pen. You can't even see a pen, there you go. <laughs> okay, so if I said the word pen, okay, and I can say it, it's something that you use to, um, to color, something you use to color. Is it, is it true or is it false? A pen, something, something. A pen? Do you use a pen? Do you use a pen to color? No, of course. No, you don't use a pen to color. You use a pen to write, but not to color. You can color with a pencil, with a pencil crayon, pencil crayon or a crayon or a felt pen. Uh, but you can't color with a with a pen. You know, you know, really, you don't really use a pen to color with. So that would be a false definition. So you, you, you give us the definition, it can be true or it can be false. And then we, as the class are going to choose, we're going to decide if your definition that you gave us is true or if the definition you gave us is false. Does, do, does that make sense? Do you understand? Yes, I do. Yeah? Any questions? No. No, it's pretty clear? Yeah? Pretty clear for everybody? Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do is precisely that. We're going to start with the first one. And uh, the first person that's going to start is going to be, let's see, um, Rudy. Rudy, can we start? Can you give us a definition? Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. To talk is the action to pass or change from a frozen to a liquid or semi-liquid state. Okay. Uh, do you? Okay. I'm going. I'm actually going to write the word on the in the chat. So everybody knows what word he's referring to. Pero no, no lo busquen, okay? No lo busquen en, en el internet, okay? No, 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 no se vale, eh, ¿cómo se llama? A la palabra, en, no se vale eh, hacer trampa, okay? So don't look it up in the internet. Just tell, can you, can you repeat again, Rudy? Yes, is the action to pass or change from frozen from a frozen to a liquid or semi-liquid state. Okay. So what do you think? Is that definition true or false? Really repeat slowly. <laughs> Please. Ready? Can you repeat slowly? 
Yes, is the action to pass from uh, to pass or change from a frozen to a liquid or semi-liquid state. Okay. So to pass from a frozen, mm -hmm. or set to, frozen a to a liquid or yeah. semi-liquid state. A frozen or semi-liquid state. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you guys think? Is that true? Is that definition true? Or is it false? It's true. <laughs> but I don't know exactly what is the, the translate this, that word in Spanish, but I think it's true. <laughs> I think it's true. Okay, bye. What about the other people? What do you think? Hello? I think it's true. You think it's true? Yeah. Okay. All right. What about the rest? Yeah, we have two people that say it's true. And the others? Como dicen, ¿qué dice el público? And what is the word of reference? It, you, it's in the chat. I wrote it in the chat. Uh huh. So, what do you guys think? Tell me. Let's again, Cayo. Tell me what. What do you think? It's true, teacher. You think it's true? Yes. Okay. What do the others say? True, false? Vamos, tell me. Uh huh. Ay, right, chicos, tenemos tantos de ustedes acá. La, la idea es de que participen, de que, porque si no participan, pues no van, nunca van a realmente aprender inglés. So tell me, what do you guys think? True, false? I think it's true. I think you think it's true. All right. Thank you, Renee. Okay. So you you guys believe it's true? Yeah? Yes, okay. it's, it's true. It's true? Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, all right. Rudy, tell us, is it true or is it false? It's true. It's true. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Um, all right. So, yes, very good. That, that's exactly what it is. So, um, to understand a little bit more, a little bit better, uh, what it is is like a, to give you an example. Uh, when you want to cook, you, you want to cook. Um, you, you want to cook uh, meat in the uh, at night, okay? So, um, but the meat is, is in your freezer, okay? It's in your freezer. So you, what you need to do is to be able to make sure that the meat is, um, is not frozen when you cook the, the food. So what you do is that before you go to work, you take the meat out of the freeze, the freezer, and you leave it outside so that the the meat becomes from frozen to a semi-liquid state right and obviously i mean meat is not going to be liquid but but it's going to be um not it's going to be in a solid but not frozen state okay does that make sense another example it can be when you put yeah. ice cream under the sun yeah, that's right. Um, except that thawing, thawing is something that is like more, it, it's, um, it's on purpose. Uh -huh. For example, uh, if I want to cook the meat, when the meat is in the freezer, so it's uh, normally, uh, I must take the meat out of the freezer. Right. Maybe maybe thirty minutes. Maybe if I need want to meet 
Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it could be for 30 minutes or whatever it, it, the amount of time that it takes. OK, um, another another thing that you can solve, for example, um, let's say you uh, let's say that um, a, you you go to a restaurant and you order a drink but uh, um, and they give you a drink but they give you too much uh ice okay and the the it's very the, the the drink is very cold and it hurts your 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 teeth so you let the ice thaw so it means that the ice is going to become more of a liquid form so that the drink is not so cold and it doesn't hurt your teeth does that make sense? Yeah? Does it make sense or no? Tiene sentido? No. Huh? No, no, no. No? No. No tiene sentido. No. I, look, because I, I understand, I see a little, uh, it's fake. Lo que yo poco entiendo, no tiene sentido. Ok. Eh, descongelar, pues. That's what it means. Ok, so it's frozen, congelado, right? And so then you put something in a place so that it's not frozen anymore. That's what it means. Yes, it's not frozen for the cook and, and the meat. I don't meat, eh, I, I don't cook in meat is this is frozen i need out then my freezer uh -huh. for, for so that you can cook the meat uh, yes for mm -hmm. the meat is necessary it's necessary yeah. out the my freezer absolutely yeah or you you can put it in the microwave for example right you can thaw the meat in the microwave right or you can thaw the meat um in water you can put it in water, yes, in water, right? Okay, so those are different ways that you can thaw the meat. Okay, does that make sense? It's clear? Yes, yes. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, I uh, uh, take my meat uh -huh. out in the freezer. Right. In, in water. Ah, for okay. All night for tomorrow cooking. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, very good. Very, very good. Okay. All right. So it's clear for everybody. No problems, no questions. No? Yes, uh, I, I understand. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Rudy. And the next word, we're going to go on to the next word. The next word is with Karina. Okay. Okay. My word is hand washing. Okay. I put it in the, in the chat. Uh -huh. Okay. Go for okay. it. Okay. Uh, this is the act when we clean our hands with water or soap and any li liquid to clean our hands. Okay. Okay, what do you guys think? Is it true? Is it false? It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, everybody says it's true? It's true. Yeah. Okay, all right, Karina, what do you say? Is it true? Or Ah, Norberto <laughs> says false. Yeah. Why false, Norberto? <laughs> Norberto, why false? It's false. <laughs> he just said this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In my case, I consider false because it's the hand wash is the object of object when I don't know. Como, como el lavamanos de la, del, del baño. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have um, two faults and two truths, I think. I, I think somebody mentioned that they think it's true. Okay. So Karina, tell us, true or false? Okay, according that I found, is true. Is the yeah. process when you clean your hands. Oh yeah, exactly. Very good, very good, Karina. Yes, it is true. Um, so the the process of cleaning your hands—that's hand washing. So like now with the COVID, that has been a big thing, right? It's very been very important to be able to wash your hands correctly. Yes, very good. Chicos, um, ¿me pueden ayudar ahí? Ya saben, ahí con su camarita, la mitad de la clase no está con su cámara encendida. Así que pareciera como que solo tengo la mitad de la clase aquí, ¿verdad? Realmente cuando, cuando ustedes, eh, cuando ustedes um, apagan sus cámaras, lo que dan a entender es que ustedes no están en clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso les digo, por favor, ayúdenme con eso. Okay, all right, uh, Eunice. Next word. Sorry, teacher, I... Um, no comprendí bien lo que tenemos que hacer. Did you, did you investigate the meaning of the word? Um, yes. You investigated? Yes. Okay. Right. So, so Eunice, you can give us the definition of the word, the correct definition, or you can give us a, a false definition, something different. You, but don't tell if it, don't tell us if it's true or false. Just give us a definition. Um, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? Más o menos comprendí. No. ¿Me, ¿Me puede dar la definición correcta o la incorrecta? Okay. Como, se, como se guste. Ok. 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 ¿Ya? Yeah, ¿Es claro? Sí, yes, sí. Yes. Ok. Yes. All right. Go for it. Um, I'm going to write the word in the, in the chat for everybody to see. Okay, so this is the word in the chat. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Ignacio. Yeah. Sorry, but maybe someone of classmate is out of camera. Maybe someone of maybe having diner of the room and because the time is is same class and the of your become of my our, our house you know is 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 possible this situation because the someone uh, classmate close the camera you know yes i understand that ignacio uh, let's okay se les voy a explicar chicos no soy yo la que les estoy pidiendo esto. Yo no tengo la autorización para darles ni permiso para faltar a clase, ni permiso para, para, eh, para ausentarse un ratito, ni permiso para no encender la cámara, porque no soy yo la que, la que, la que le está pidiendo eso. A mí personalmente me piden que les que les recuerde a ustedes que ustedes tienen que tener la cámara encendida. Eh, o sea que nosotros no estamos rigiendo solamente por esas instrucciones que nos da INSAFOR, que tienen que tener la cámara encendida y que de hecho ustedes han, eh, se han comprometido a todos esos eh, reglamentos que tiene el INSAFOR. Entonces, Lastimosa, yo lo puedo entender, yo puedo entender, incluso a veces me, dice, me mandan diciendo, eh, miren, mis, fíjese que tuve una emergencia, eh, estoy en el hospital, etcétera, etcétera. Y yo entiendo, o sea, 
fuera yo, yo, o sea, va, yo, yo lo entiendo, pero lo siento, yo no tengo esa autorización para decirle, mire, entonces no falta clase, no lo tengo, porque no son mis instrucciones, sino que yo estoy bajo las mismas, yo estoy bajo las mismas eh, reglamentos de ustedes. Entonces, por eso es de que eh, les pido que, que, que tengan comprensión, como yo les dije anteriormente, yo, yo entiendo que de repente hay una emergencia y usted puede apagar la cámara uno o dos minutos. Eso lo entiendo, ¿verdad? Eso, eso le pasa a cualquiera. Pero en sí, la clase completa debería ser de estar con la cámara encendida. O sea... Your definition, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes your, definition, your definition is true. Ok. Ok. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ok. Thank you, thank you, Marvin. Um, sí, así que como le digo, en serio, no estoy tratando de hacer la mala de la película, la, lo, de veras que lo lamento mucho, pero sí, eh, también acordémonos que sí es algo que nosotros nos comprometimos a ello. O sea, cuando, eh, cuando nos explicaron, miren, miren, la, la, esa forma les pide eso y eso, lo otro, y ustedes dijeron que sí, que ustedes estaban de acuerdo. Eh, y también el primer día de clase se les explicó, y ustedes también, pues, dijeron que estaban de acuerdo porque continuaron con la clase. Entonces, eh, pues, eh, si, si ustedes, o sea, si están acá es porque ustedes están de acuerdo de seguir esas instrucciones de INSAFORP, ¿verdad? Porque le digo, no es, no es nuestro curso, nosotros solamente lo, son cursos que nosotros impartimos de INSAFORP, pero quien nos rige es en sí INSAFORP. Entonces, ellos son los que tienen el derecho del reglamento porque ellos son los que están pagando en realidad. Ellos son los que están pagando por su curso. Entonces, es como, es como una beca, ¿verdad? Eh, acuérdense que, por ejemplo, en una, imagínense usted está en una universidad y le, y le dicen, vale, le vamos, usted tiene buenas calificaciones y que le vamos a dar una, una beca. Le va a el 50%, aunque sea solo el 50%, pero para tener ese 50%, se tiene que cumplir con estas y estas y estas reglamentos, ¿verdad? Y entonces, pues obviamente usted dice, bueno, sí, ¿verdad? O sea, a mí me interesa, ¿verdad? No, aunque sea el 50%, pero pues lo voy a pagar y pues me ayuda. Entonces viene usted y se rige por ello y, y hace lo que pueda para poder cumplir con esos requisitos, ¿verdad? Entonces es lo mismo acá, ¿verdad? Eh, Saforpe es el que le está pagando, ¿verdad? Esta oportunidad. Ellos tienen todo el derecho de pedirles eh, lo... Um, los requisitos de que usted llene de la plataforma, eh, de que tiene que estar conectado, eh, ¿verdad? Que, que tiene que estar con la cama encendida, que tiene que cumplir con eh, la encuesta, etc. Ellos tienen todo el derecho de hacer eso. Entonces, si estamos acá es porque pues, estamos de acuerdo con ello, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso, ¿verdad? Así que le digo, la, no, realmente no es mi... O sea, lo, lo, Realmente no me gusta estarles ahí insistiendo y por eso les digo de que para hacer mi, 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 mi trabajo un poquito más fácil, les, les digo que no, 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 no permitan que yo les esté diciendo a cada rato, ¿verdad? me enciendo su cámara, me enciendo su cámara, ustedes ya, ya lo saben, ¿verdad? O sea, ya son, ya, ya sí, todos sí. aquí somos adultos, ¿verdad? Y ya sabemos qué tenemos que hacer, ¿verdad? Así que sí, sí que me pueden colaborar con eso. Realmente sería excelente. Así todos podemos participar y, y, y pues ser, tener una, una clase armoniosa, ¿verdad? Porque también esa es otra cosa. Eh, de repente yo visito los grupos y de repente me dicen, Miss, ahí no hay nadie. Yo le hablo y le hablo y nadie me contesta. Entonces, obviamente no están en clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso no hace que la clase sea armoniosa, ¿verdad? Y al fin y al cabo, usted lo que quiere es aprender inglés, no es ir pasando de nivel. ¿verdad? O sea, yo lo, nosotros la podemos pasar y pasar y pasar, pero ¿y qué aprendió? ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué va a sacar de esto? ¿Verdad? Entonces, eso es lo más importante, que usted esté en clase, participe, porque no hay manera de poder mejorar un idioma si no lo practica. Y le, se lo digo de, de, de experiencia propia, 
O sea, no hay manera. Y si uno, si uno se retrae, porque le, le, le digo, yo personalmente soy, tal vez no me crean, pero soy una persona bastante tímida y a mí me cuesta eh, soltarme y todo. Pero a, para aprender un idioma, entiendo que hay que arriesgarse. Y aunque no dé pena, pero si no nos quitamos esa pena, no vamos a, a, a tener éxito. Pero o sea, ahí nos vamos a estancar y, y de ahí no vamos a pasar. Ese es el problema. ¿verdad? O sea, personalmente yo en este momento estoy aprendiendo en idioma y le digo, o sea, me cuesta, me cuesta, me cuesta pronunciarlo porque eh, no es un idioma tan fácil de pronunciar, pero me arriesgo. No, pero, pero en un momento sí estuve aprendiendo. Yo creo que ya más o menos lo manejo. No, ahorita estoy aprendiendo turco, entonces eh, no es un idioma tan fácil. Eh, ¿Ah? Es 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 heavy. It's heavy, yeah. yeah. Hay palabras muy largas. Yes. Eh, hay palabras muy muy largas y me cuesta pronunciarlo, pero tengo que tengo que arriesgarme. Y son no. empezados. ¿Mm? Los turcos son empezados. Teacher. Um, no no no. <risa> no, no, no. Ya me puso, eh, ya me puso. Smoking, es smoking. <risa> yeah. Okay, so anyways, like like I said, I sí, disculpen ahí la, el comercial que tuve que tuve que hacer, ¿verdad? Pero no, sí, relax. Es okay, so thank you. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. Um, so, um, Iliana, can you hear us better? Iliana, escucha mejor? No. Oh, yo creo que quizás, sí, porque nosotros no le escuchamos tampoco, o por lo menos yo no le escucho. Can you hear Eliana? No, Miss. No. Ok. No. Ana, leave leave the, 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 the meeting and come back. Okay. Go, leave, and come back. Ok. Ok. Uh, restart. restart. Yes, restart. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, quiero ver. Okay, so by Kinena. La que estaba. ¿Quién era? ¿Quién era? Eunice, right? Estábamos con Eunice. ¿Dónde está Eunice? Eunice, Eunice. Se desconectó de Eunice. Se me desconectó de Eunice. Oh my goodness, she's not here. Okay, well, we'll, she, we'll, we'll come back to Eunice then. Um, all right, so in the next case, that case, we have Moses. Moses. Hey, teacher. Okay, uh, my word is Estoraj. Storage, uh huh. Storage. I wrote in the chat. Storage. Storage. It's okay. Uh, storage, according to the dictionary, uh, the action of storing. Nothing more. And uh, the true or false is my computer's storage is low, and it gets too slow to work. Okay. All right. So what do you think? Is that correct? Is that definition true. correct? That's true. Yeah? It's yeah. true. It's true. true. It's true. true. Yeah. yeah? Everybody says it's true? Yes. Yes. Yeah. OK, all right. Uh, Moses, is it true? Yes, teacher, it's true. All right, very good. Excellent. It's excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. So, sorry. What did you say, Moses? Moses, what, what did you say? No, escuché. Could, can you repeat? Uh, storage? Yes. Uh, uh -huh. No, I, I didn't hear what you said. No, escuché lo que, había, lo que dijo. O no dijo nada. 
Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. Sorry, I, I thought I thought you said something. Okay, I, very good. I, I like your cheer, Moses. Hey, Daniel. Hey, the guns. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, yes, Marvin. <laughs> yes, Marvin. You had something to say? One, one, one example. My car need sugar to work. Is true or is fake? It's sugar. fake. It's fake. A man, a man is fake. It's fake. Fake. Because the your car need the sugar, gasoline, no. or maybe diesel. You know. Diesel. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. I agree. Very good. Okay. Excellent. All right, Ricardo. Now your turn. No. Do All right. We... All right, Ricardo. Okay. Go for it. Uh, yes. Hello. Good evening, class. Um, like war a sunny thing. Um uh, uh, uh desinfect as clean, a uh, super food a uh, fruit, uh, or a spice it uh, and you know uh remote remote uh remote like this remote Mm -hmm. Remove. 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 Yeah, remove. Ah, uh, remove. Ah, uh, any uh, a conta contamination, contamin contamination, contamin contamination. Yes. Contamination. yes. Uh, bacteria, I have no Which one? That's it, teacher. Okay, all right. Can you repeat again so that we can hear it better? Because I think it was cutting off. Can you, can you repeat? Sorry? No, listen. Yes, I think I don't know. I don't know if it was me, but I, I I heard it was like cut off. So can can you repeat again, Ricardo? No, listen, teacher. No, okay. Internet, no, 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 no. no te di. Repeat, to you. Yes, repeat, repeat. Ah, okay, 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 teacher. Um, uh, that's it. The uh, uh, we uh, sunny things, sunny thing, uh, disinfected is to clean, uh, and super food, super food, uh, or fruits, uh, or, or space, uh, renew, uh, any contamination. Okay. All right. Thank you. So what do you think? True. It's true. It's true. It's true? Yes. OK, everybody says it's true? Yes, yes it's true. It's true. Yes, it's true. OK. OK, Ricardo, is it true? Ricardo, is it true? True. Yes or no? Yes, yes. yes. Oh. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. This year, this year. Uh -huh. Yes? On the, on the question, the uh, palabra bacteria, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Tengo esa bacteria. Duda. Bacteria. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. And now Car um, Carlos. Yes. 
Hello. Hello, Carlos. Okay, my work is the testing method. Correct. This is mm -hmm. the testing method is when a people give a little piece of the food in the supermarket that they test taste the flavor and post it and later you purchase the product. Okay. What do you think? It's true. It's true. Quality control, but uh, true. Hmm? It's true. So, everybody says it's true? Yes. Yeah? Yes, yes. Everybody? Yes, no? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay. All right, what do you say? Is this true? Yes, it's, it's true. true, yes. For me, it's true. Yeah. Okay, Carlos, is it true? Yes, it's true. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Excellent. Very good. Okay. And um, let me see. Eunice ya no regresó, ¿verdad? Is Eunice here? No, right? Eunice is not here. Okay. All right. Then I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to share Eunice's word, okay? I'm gonna do it for her, okay? Okay, so Eunice's word. I want to participate. You want to participate, okay. <clears throat> All right, well, if you want, then I can give you the word that I gave Eunice and you can look for it and um, you can go ahead and, and tell if it's, if it's a true definition or not, okay? Um, so I'll give you the word right now. Um, get over there. Get over there. Okay, there you go, Inesio. There is the word. Okay. My participate is um. Hold on! Wait! 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 Wait a second. Look for the word. Mirelo bien, and then you can decide if you're going to give us. Yeah, sorry, time. sorry. In the chat, sorry. Yes, I sent it to you in the chat. The purchase. The purchase, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Look it up and and tell us and. Then if it's yeah, yeah. correct definition or not. Sorry, but in Spanish, <laughs> purchase. Sorry. So, búsquelo, yeah. búsquelo en el internet. Yeah, okay. The definition, yeah, yeah. and then you decide if you're going to give us the correct definition or what a different is? definition. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry. Calling a uh, calling a uh, your friend Ignacio. <laughs> Use el comodín de la llamada. Yes, calling. 50-50. Yes. Yes, picking, picking. Fifteen, fifteen. Ah, okay. Purchase. Okay. Compras? Hello, Ignacio. Yeah, compras. Okay, Sorry. Yeah. Ignacio, yes. remember that you can give us the correct definition or a false definition. It's up to you. Okay, in the last Monday, we we going to the market on the central market of Soyapango. Wait, 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 Ignacio, you're going to give us a definition. Not a story and, and, and not an example. Ah, okay, the purchase, the compra, the compra. 
No, 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 no. You have to give us a definition in English. Ah, okay. And if it's, you, can, you have to decide if it's true. Like, you decide if you're going to give it. Usted nos va a dar la definición, ya sea la correcta o la incorrecta. Y después nosotros vamos a identificar si es correcta o no. Okay, sorry. Okay. To purchase is the when do you give a object without the permission? Is correct? Okay. Give the object without the correct per permission. Yeah. Okay. All right. What do you guys think? So the Whoa. word. So the word here is purchase, right? To purchase. Oh, sorry. Perdón. I continue. Give, give me a moment. Okay. Can you repeat it? The definition, Ignacio? My, yeah, my, my definition the to purchase is that when you bring us something without permission. When you bring something without permission. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. So what do you think? Is it true or is it false? It's false. You think it's false? Everybody true. says true. Yeah. Okay. But right. what about the others? What do you say? True, false? True. True? Everybody says it's true? Of course. Okay. All right. Okay, Ignacio, true or false? It's for because you need pay without to obtain or something. Mm. You don't take uh, without permission of the anybody or something. In the most uh, situation, you need pay about to obtain the different object or or. A product, you know. Mm. So, mm. do we understand? Do we understand what it is? Do we understand what is to purchase? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Excellent. Bravo, everybody. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to um, take attendance again. Then the second attendance. So let me. Say the names. Ana Delmi. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Brian. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Danny. Danny. Danny, no? Okay, Danny's. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Sarai? Present, teacher. All right, wonderful. Um, Eduardo? Present. Okay, wonderful. Eunice? Eunice? Eunice is not here, no? Uh, Guadalupe. Present, Miss. All right, wonderful. Uh, Melissa. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Ignacio. Present, teacher. Excellent. Um, uh, Norberto. Present, teacher. All right, great. Karina. Present, teacher. Excellent. Marvin. Marvin Bonilla. 
Claribel. Claribel. Okay. Moses. Present. All right. Nelson. Nelson. Okay, wonderful. Ileana. Ileana? Conseñas, conseñas. Ah, okay. Todavía tiene problemas de audio. Eh, ¿Por qué no reinicia la, el dispositivo? No sé si está, está usando computadora o, o celular, pero reinicielo. Probablemente es el, el aparato. Ok. Eh, ¿René? Present, present. All right, excellent. Ricardo. Present. All right, Claudia. All right. Claudia? Okay. Marvin eh, Lopez. Rudy. Present. Great. Victor Hugo. Victor Hugo. Okay, all right guys, what we're gonna do then is a, we're going to now continue with the class. Now it should be super easy because um, now that we know the definition of the words, this should be super, super easy. Um, we are going to be working, but uh, we're gonna be doing two things. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, so my PowerPoint says match the procedures to the description. The procedures are find food, hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, purchase, and tasting method. Then over here we have the, the, the definition, and I want you to place all of these, the correct words in the correct place. After that, after you finish that, you're going to do the next part. We're going to create a sentence for each of these words. Share your sentences with a partner. So you're gonna create uh, one word for thawing. You're gonna create one sentence for thawing food, one sentence for hand washing, one sentence for sanitizing, one sentence for food storage, one sentence for purchase, and one sentence for taste and method. Okay? okay? Okay. So you're gonna do two activities. The first one, you're gonna be matching. Matching this vocabulary to the definitions. Then you're going to create your own uh, sentences. O sea, sus ideas propias y lo van a compartir con su pareja. Bueno, eh, pareja de... de the exercise. Yeah, understand this. Okay. All right. Very good. Yes. 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 Uh, to uh, share the the last um, the first slides. Um, remember this, todo esto está en el, en el libro, chicos. Así que eh, si ustedes tienen el libro, solo tienen que usarlo. I think it's Page 18, I think it is. Okay. And then we're just creating sentences for it. Okay. So I'm going to get you to work. A, I'm going to get you to work in groups, actually. Okay. Um, Okay, and I'm going to give you about 15 minutes to do this. Okay, probably less, 12 minutes. Shouldn't take you very long, okay? Are we clear on what to do? Tendemos que tiene que hacer? Not clear, teacher. Complete with. Complete in the libro. 
Complete with leader. You have to leader, match. Ponerle correcta. Match, match the, the correct vocabulary sentence. with the definition. After, okay. create, write new sentences using the vocabulary. Only one, brother. One sentence per word. Per word. Okay. Okay, is that clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to open the groups right now. Alberto, are you there? Alberto? No. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Danis. I'm here. Good morning. Wake yeah. up. <laughs> uh, tired. Don't relax. Hi, Marvin. Hi. 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 It's one sentence for uh, for cada palabra, verdad? Me tomaron Hi, foto. I uh, I have the stick. Me tomo foto, Marvin. Fíjate que sí, sí, pero. Mándala al grupo o aquí. La puedes compartir. Share it. Yes. Que yo estoy con la tablet y así no, no me sale bien. Ahí está. La ficha lo compartió. Ahí está. Throwing. Throwing. Food. Espera. Toma foto ahorita, mejor. Please wait a moment. Okay. I take a picture. My God, to move, move the. Okay. Okay. Another one. Pray a sentence for each one of these words. Should just listen to the word. Come on, Bye. For example, towing full is the one, two, three, four, the number four. Ahorita. To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. The food store. Towing food. Towing food. The letter A. Okay. okay. Um, Wash your hands and for yeah. one with two. This is the brush to clean. Is the letter C? The letter C? The letter C is the number one. Some, some it is. Yes. Take a sample mm. of the food you want to taste on a spoon. Mm. Y la otra que dice hand hand watching no será wash your hands la primera letter B letter hand watching letter B washing hands hand watching hand watching ajá 
que es and, and first que es in... wash wash your hands and for harm with soap soap use it to clean yo creo que es agua Dice así, uh, number one, eh, literal, B. Yes. Lo que sí. Yes. Letter oh, B. I... Letter B. Yes. And the second, they, they, they are same, same of the food to want to eh. taste. On a spoon, both the samples. Esa quizás es food storage, pa. Sí, creo que sí. Food storage. Esta es. Storage. Aunque también da la tres. Yeah, okay. Que dice. Este, Keep it in English. Ok. Part is create. The other part is create a center for each one of these words. Share your center with your partner. Ok. For example, in, in the letter B, uh, I need to hand washing my hand before to before to go to the, the bathroom. After go to the bathroom. Yeah. Uh -huh. I need to hand. And before, take a sample. Hey, hey, take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon. Is the letter F, you know? Excuse me. And the number two, the in the position to request. <clears throat> that say take a sample of the food you want to taste on the spoon. Put the sample on a second spoon okay. away from the cooking area and taste the product. For me, the testing matter, you know. Uh, algo indeciso porque también está food store. How are you guys doing? Hi. Hi. Finished. You're finished. Okay. Yes. Now yes. We have, you have to create word uh, sentences. Hey. No. You have no. to create sentences. No. Only pay the sentences with the decoration. Okay, so right now create sentences with the description. Uh huh. Uh, no, just sentences with the the vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Create a one sentence for the one. A B, for example. Yes, uh, sentences for every word. Every word. For example, uh, 
Está Win Food es descongelada. Ah, por ejemplo, I need leave leave uh, leave the beans of the freezer to towing full and cook the dinner. This one option. So, están creando sus propias oraciones, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, great, excellent. This one? Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, the first word is tagwin food. We know the tagwin is the action to Convert from frozen things I to liquid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The test and This word it don't have the next. Uh, the next sample. The last sample uh, I did in the word test and method. Uh, miss, is necessary to use the, the both word, tagwin food, or just the word, or just Perfect. the verb? You're going to create one sentence per each word. So, una oración por cada palabra. Yes. Yeah, it, it's necessary to include the both, tagwin food, tagwin food? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What okay. is the meaning of the, the, last, the last sentence, the last word? That's the meaning. Taste the method. The, the meeting. You want to know about tasting method? Sorry? You want to know about the tasting method? I don't understand. I, I don't know what is. What is your question? Como, no sé, probar o algo así. Como un bocadillo de prueba, lo, lo comprendo así. Yeah, yeah. Um, But it's the action. That's the method, it's the action to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, it's a, it, you, um, yeah, you have to, in order to see if it works, if you, if it's good, you have to use the tasting method. And the tasting method is, Um, literally, like for example, soup, let's say, to be able to taste the soup, you put it into one, one spoon, let's say, like that, and then you take the spoon and you put it in another spoon so that it doesn't get contaminated at all. That's the taste method. Oh. Yeah? Okay. okay. Okay, uh, we, we have to form to make the first one using tag with food. Become warmer, War, warmer. Are you guys finished? No. No, no, yet. Not yet. Uh, confusion entre uh, employing good, uh, recent, and store food organized y to let frozen food. So you have a confusion between what? Yes. Teacher, letter A with to let frozen food become warmer or not. Or soft food, um, yeah, to let food, frozen food become warm, yeah. Letter A, type with food. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, could be. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you guys finished? Yes. You created sentences? You crearon oraciones? No, todavía no. No? Solo con el cuadro. Ahí uh, nos quedamos. You, should, you, yes. you created a sentence. Make sure you create the sentences. Okay. For each word. Uh-huh. Okay. How do pronoun pronounce that word food? Sign. Sign food. Sign. 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 Yes, sign food. Como con Z. Sign. Con T. A TH sign. Sign food. Okay. Sign food. Sign food. He is the moment of alimentos. Uh -huh. And food preservation is the process to steering and holding food to stop and slow food. Okay. Food storage. Food storage, almacenar alimento. Uh huh. Yeah. That is the. Okay. Uh, the symptoms. Remember that sign is without um, without the n. T H W. Sorry, T H A W. And this saw is T H A W. T H A W. W. Ah, okay. Yes. Oh. Mm. ¿Qué pensas? Uh, are you guys finished? In the teacher, we <clears throat> we to speak um, about the uh, question, the release a question <clears throat> for the the number the number fourth uh, expression at the the column for throwing food uh -huh. letter letter a i i think we think we think the the express the the sentences or the question sorry is uh, uh do you do you want to let frozen Food becomes warmer until it's ready to cook. Deberíamos descongelar. We should thaw. Thaw the food, uh-huh. Thaw food. Thaw food. Thaw food. Thaw food. Until it's ready to cook. The cook. Is, is correct, right? Or the or say the the question. Sorry, is a uh, correct the? Do you do you do you want mm -hmm. do you want to lead to lead frozen? Yeah. 
Do you will, sorry, do you will, sorry, do you will to lead? Deberíamos descongelar. It's correct. We should, we should thaw the food. We should thaw the food. Hmm? We should yeah. thaw the food. We should thaw the food. Um. Sorry, can you repeat? We should thaw the food. We should. We should. Should, deberíamos. We should. We should, okay. Thaw the food. Yeah. Uh, we should. We should, no, we would. Okay. We should. Pero como es question. Eh, oh, it's a question? It's a, a why should. It would, it would be switched around. If it's a question, it should be should we. Okay. Okay, teacher, we should to let, we should to let frozen, it's okay. We should let frozen, uh-huh, frozen food thaw. Yeah, frozen, okay. That, that's a question, uh, it's okay, Norbert. Okay. The number, the letter A in the fourth position. Hand washing. Hand washing. Okay, class, it's time to check the answers. So let's check. Please tell me if you can see my screen or not. Um, Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. All right, let's check the answers then. Um, okay, um, so. Okay, so wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails and dry. What is that? Hard washing. Hard washing. Everybody says it's hand washing? Lazy. Hand washing? Yes. Little B. Little B, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, all right, next. Take a sample of the food and want you want to taste on a spoon. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area and taste the product. And then F. F. Tasting metal. Tasting metal. Very good. Tasting method. Okay. Excellent. Buy packaged food only from licensed suppliers. E. Uh, yeah. There are E. Okay. Good. Purchase. Excellent. Next. To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. Letter A. So what is letter A? Take, letter A. Take A. With food. Okay, fine food. Okay, good. Mommy. Mommy. Okay, next. Okay. Uh, yeah. Boys who receive Nice item. <laughs> hmm? I'm see uh, employees who receive and organize, sorry, employees who receive and storage and storage food organize items in the correct order to avoid bacteria. Letter D. So what is it? What is letter D? What is start? Start. Good. Food storage. Okay, and finally, the last one. Letter C. Sanitizing. 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 Okay, sanitizing. Equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after dish is prepared. Okay, very good. All right, sanitizing. Sanitizing. Okay, very good. So those are the answers. Any questions? We have questions? No, I no, have no. one a sentence. You have a sentence, what is? Yes. Okay, good. Um, you know what, actually, what we're gonna do with the sentences, because of time, we're going to be sharing the sentences tomorrow, okay? Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank I you. say my sentence for tomorrow. Yeah, you, yes, you're gonna share the sentences tomorrow. All right, what we're gonna do right now is um, we're going to go to the next part. The next part is the following. Use your dictionary and look for the meaning of the words below. So I want you to go ahead, scenario that you have, and you're going to find the meaning of these words individually, okay? Individually, okay. you're gonna find the meaning of the words. So go ahead and look in the dictionary or online, whatever you prefer.
So look for the meaning of those words. How are you doing? Any questions? Any problems? Right, so there are some people that are already done. Yes, I finished. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we are going to be checking this tomorrow, OK? We're going to be checking. So everybody's going to have probably their own definition. And you are going to be comparing definitions tomorrow, OK? So we're going to leave that for tomorrow. And right now, what I'm going to do is take, the for the last time, we're going to take our attendance. Okay. Ana Delmi? Present. All right, good. Ryan? Present. Excellent. Um, Carlos? Present. Great. Danny? 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 Present. OK, 
Okay, wonderful. Um, Sarai? Sarai? Okay. Um, a ver. Um, ya me perdí. Eduardo. Present. Okay, wonderful. Eunice? Eunice? Guadalupe. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Uh, Jacqueline? Jacqueline? Ignacio? I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Norberto? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Karina? Karina? No. Okay, Marvin? Ah. ah, okay, great. Thank you, Karina. Marvin Bonilla? I hear. Okay, Present. great. Claribel? Claribel? Present. No? Present. Okay, perfect. All right, good. Um, Nelson? Nelson? Okay, Iliana? Present teacher, me escucha hoy. Present. Pero verdad que era el dispositivo, ¿verdad? Cuando lo reinició. Para ya, pues ya, ya. Ya sé. Sí. Para la próxima ya sabe, ¿verdad? Solamente reinicia el. La receté hoy ya. Sí, sí. Ok. Gracias. René. Present teacher, present. All right, very good. Thank you, René. Ricardo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Claudia. Claudia. Okay. Uh, Marvin Lopez. Marvin Lopez. And. Um, Rudy. Rudy? Rudy's not here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and um, Victor, Victor Hugo. Okay. Okay. Eh, bueno, uh, el día de hoy le tocaría, se supone, a Unice, pero Unice no está. Entonces, no sé si alguien quiere tomar el puesto de ella. ¿Se queda para el, la sesión 1-1? ¿No? I can't wait now, teacher, because I be my work. Ok, you can't wait now, it's fine. But somebody wants to say, ¿alguien quiere quedarse? No? Okay. All right, guys. In that case, um, eh, I'll see you tomorrow. Si no han terminado las oraciones, ¿verdad? Con, con el vocabulario que aprendimos hoy, por favor, hagan eso. ¿Ok? Si no lo han terminado, esa es la tarea de hoy. ¿Ok? Que terminen esas, son, que son cinco o seis oraciones que creo que tienen que hacer. Quiero ver, déjeme asegurarme. Ya, yeah, six. Fine. No, much, no son muchas, ¿ok? All right, so that's it, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye. everybody. Bye. 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 Nadie se va a quedar. Si gusta, se puede quedar. Ah, pues, ok. Pues. Yeah. No problem. Ok. No problem. Ok. All right, Ricardo. Okay. ¿En qué le puedo ayudar? Cuénteme. <risa> eh, 
Fíjense es que tengo un inconveniente. A mí me está costando bastante eh, como entender, okay. ¿verdad? Entonces, hay, hay momentos que, que me pierdo. Entonces, no sé cómo podría hacer, porque yo estoy tratando de una manera, bueno, en mi trabajo cuando tengo lugar, hago como oraciones de lo que normalmente hablamos, ¿verdad? Para irme las aprendiendo y, y, y hacerlas un poquito... Eh, más, más de mi vocabulario, pero sí siento que me está costando como entender, ¿verdad? No sé si será por el uno, por el inter, porque es el, para mí que está algo defectuoso y en momentos que casi no logro escuchar. Ok, um, Entonces, o sea, me está ¿cómo? costando entender que la clase o en sí el inglés. Eh, sí, lo, lo que usted dice por decirlo así, ¿verdad? O sea, hay cosas, hay palabras que sí las comprendo bien, pero lo demás casi no, no lo entiendo bien. Ok. Ok. Ajá. Entonces, no sé cómo pues, podría ¿puedo hacer. Una, una, una pregunta. ¿Sí? Yes. Eh, en, 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 um, ¿En los módulos anteriores tuvo el mismo problema? Eh, no. Hasta, ok. Va. Uh -huh. Ok. Le voy a explicar lo que está pasando para que sí. lo más o menos entendiendo. Correcto. Eh, lo que sucede ahorita es de que para usted es un acento nuevo. Ah, okay. Porque es un acento nativo. Okay. Eh, el, el acento al que probablemente usted ha estado acostumbrado en el pasado han sido acentos de personas que han aprendido el inglés y entonces, por lo tanto, tienen un acento más salvadoreño al hablar inglés. ¿Me, okay. ¿me equivoco o no? Okay. Yes, podría ser. Eso sí. no, lo había, no lo había pensado. Ok. <risa> sí. Entonces, um, cuando, es una, eh, cuando es un acento nativo del idioma, siempre nos cuesta un poquito más porque ah, okay. es algo que no es nuestro, digamos, no es Correcto. lo que estamos acostumbrados. Entonces, toma su tiempito para acostumbrarse. Sí, toma su tiempito. No le voy a mentir. Es más, o sea, no es el primero que me lo dice, ni va a ser el último. <risa> en serio. Ha, han habido, y, y, y no, por lo general, no me lo dicen hasta fi, al final del módulo. O sea, ahorita usted bueno. me lo está diciendo al principio, por así decirlo. Y por lo general, me lo, no me lo dice hasta como al final del módulo, módulo que me dicen, teacher, fíjese que al principio yo sentía que no le entendía nada, pero ahora me siento contenta porque ya la entiendo. <risa> Entonces, eh, eh, toma tiempo para acostumbrarse a un nuevo sí. acento, ¿verdad? Especialmente es un acento nativo. Entonces, no oh. se preocupe, no se me frustre, que entre más usted escucha, más lo va ent y entendiendo. ¿Ok? Y ah, okay. Digo, se lo digo de, de experiencia propia. Um, como les decía en la clase, yo también estoy aprendiendo en idioma. Y al principio, nada que ver, ¿verdad? O sea, yo no entendía. <risa> Pero entre más me he ido exponiendo al idioma, ya por lo menos voy como captando. Tanto, ¿Verdad? Tal vez no todo, ¿verdad? Pero voy ahí captando. Ah, sí, sí, dijo esto, dijo el otro. Por lo menos voy agarrando las ideas. Y eso es que estoy muy básica. Sí. ¿Ok? Muy, muy, muy. O sea, usted está mucho más avanzado que... Usted está más avanzado en inglés de lo que yo estoy en turco, así que no se preocupe. Entonces, <risa> eh, sí. Así de que no se me preocupe. Ahora, ¿qué se puede hacer? ¿Qué necesita eh, para poder... Um, Mejorar. Yes. Eh, exponerse más. Exponerse más, no solamente a otras personas que hablen inglés, sino que al acento nativo. Ah, okay. Okay. Entonces, de hecho, ahorita, antes que se me olvide, porque yo sé que se me va a olvidar, voy ahorita a mandar un enlace de grupo. Okay. Eh, y en este enlace um, es, son oraciones, eh, perdón, son conversaciones eh, de personas nativas 
conversaciones pequeñas, ¿verdad? son cortas. Pero eh, es muy bonito porque eh, usted, bueno, primeramente usted puede escoger si, eh, si lo quiere que sea básico, intermedio um, o, o avanzado. ¿Verdad? Eh, entonces, ese es uno, eh, eso es algo que es bastante, um, bastante positivo, ¿verdad? Que usted puede escoger el nivel. Lo otro es que son uh, un montón de conversaciones que usted puede escoger. Y por último, lo bonito es de que usted um, puede, te, le, le, da, le hacen como pequeños exámenes para ver si en realidad usted lo entendió, ¿verdad? Lo comprendió lo que estaba escuchando. ¿Ya? Entonces, eh, ahí usted puede ir viendo si realmente va comprendiendo, se necesita mejorar en algo o no. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ok, así que ahorita... Así que, o sea que en pocas palabras, así como usted me está diciendo que el acento puede variar, con muchas clases de personas, o sea que va, pueden decir lo mismo, pero se va a escuchar de diferente manera. ¿Sí? Entonces yo lo puedo captar, o tal vez no lo puedo entender porque se va a escuchar de diferente manera, así como el inglés, eh, español, eh, eh, perdón, estadounidense, el británico, que es totalmente diferente, porque si no me equivoco, la R suena de una manera, y la T... Y la R suena hay momentos como T. Ajá, muy bien. Ah, ok. Piénselo, piénselo de esta forma. Piense a una persona que está aprendiendo español y que escucha a un español, a un mexicano, un argentino y un salvadoreño. Ah, okay. Y un italiano también porque cambia, cambia bastante. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces ah, okay. es el mismo, el mismo idioma, ¿verdad? Pero la acento Pero, va a cambiar también. y por lo tanto va, con, va a ser más fácil o más difícil puede entender. Ah, ok. Por eso es que me frustro. ¿eh? Pero a eso quiero llegar. No se me frustre. Ok. okay. Simplemente tómelo con calma. Tómelo con calma y siga practicando, practicando, practicando. Ahorita ya lo mandé, ¿verdad? Entonces, a um, uh, eh, entonces ahí usted, le digo, hay un montón de conversaciones, puede ir uno por uno, lo puede hacer uno cada día, y, o sea, no toma mucho tiempo, lo mucho que le va a tomar hacerlo es como quizás 10 minutos, lo mucho, okay. diez minutos. entonces 10 minutos todos los días, pero vaya, vaya haciendo el ejercicio y haciendo los pequeños um, eh, laboratorios, digamos. Um, ok. Ok, entonces y ahí va a ver, ir viendo que sí va a ir mejorando. Yes. Otra, otra, otra pregunta. Eh, en, el, en la plataforma eh, salen dos videos. Eh, uno es respecto a, a las, a las cuestiones que salen, o es solo porque no lo he abierto todavía. Te soy sincero, solo tengo. ¿Qué videos? Ya me parece. ¿Qué refiere? Es que, me sale, es que en la plataforma me salen dos opciones de video. Me sale en la 2, en la unidad 2. Posible en la 12. Ajá, me sale Taking About Pro, Prosure. Y me sale que sale usted. Y me sale How to Use the Adverbio. A veces hay dos. Expression. Hay, a veces hay dos videos porque la clase se va en dos partes. Ah, eso? Ok, ya entendí. Pues yo pensé que era eh, parte de lo que nos estaban preguntando ahí en la plataforma. No. No, ah, a veces okay. puede ser eso de que, de que a veces, por ejemplo, cuando se me va, por ejemplo, la luz se corta y tengo okay. que ponerla en dos partes. Ah, ok, eso está bien. Okay. Va, entonces practica pues, con ese, con ese, ábralo, si quiere ábralo hoy y haga uno, uno que haga, menos de 10 minutos le va a tomar. Ok. Ok. 
Ok, eh, está bien. Eh, cuando tenga así espacio, que no tenga tu compañera, me avisa. Of course, ver, yeah. podemos, ver, ¿eh? Sí, por supuesto que sí. Por supuesto okay. que sí. Cuantas veces quiera, estamos ahí. Está bien, okay. voy a tratar la manera de asimilar todo esto. Okay, Ricardo. Okay, teacher. Okay, take care. Can have a good night. Good night. Thank you. You're welcome.